Chronic pelvic pain, or CPP, is a common, multifaceted presentation seen daily in primary and specialty care offices. While it is a more common presenting cause in 15 to 20 percent of women, it is also a presenting cause in about 8 percent of men. Chronic prostatitis, or chronic pelvic pain syndrome, is defined as genitourinary pain, which may or may not have symptoms with voiding and has no identifiable infectious or malignancy cause. Osteopathic manipulative medicine may play a role in proving symptoms in chronic pelvic pain syndrome. Somatic dysfunction of the pubic symphysis is related to the abnormal tension and dysfunction of the pelvic floor, potentially affecting genitourinary function. Treatment of the pubic bone may assist with pelvic girdle biomechanics and gait, address pain, and improve symptomatology. One treatment that may be used is a muscle energy technique of the symphysis pubis, sometimes called a shotgun technique due to the treatment's ability to address a superior or inferior pubic bone somatic dysfunction. Begin by diagnosing the pubic bone with the patient lying supine and palpating the anterior aspect of their pelvis or pubic bone. After asking a patient for consent, Sarah, do you mind if I check your pubic bone? It's the front part of your pelvis? That's fine. Thank you. The physician places their thumbs in the top part of the pubic bone and assesses for symmetry. Two common somatic dysfunction findings at the pubic tubercles include an inferior or a superior pubic tubercle, which is frequently tender. Identifying which pubic tubercle is dysfunctional can be accomplished via a standing flexion test or an ASIS compression test. Treatment is performed while the patient lies supine and the physician stands to the side of the patient. Have the patient bend both knees and place their feet on the table. Place your hands on either side of the patient's knees and have the patient gently attempt to abduct both knees for a count of five while applying a counterforce. So Sarah, can you push your knees apart for me please? Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So next we'll place our forearm between the patient's knees as they attempt to adduct the knees together for a count of five. So Sarah, can you bring your knees together for me please? Thank you. Four, three, two, one, and relax. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And one more time. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And then we're going to straighten your legs out. And we'll reevaluate the pubic tubercles to see if the asymmetry has improved. Contraindications to this technique may include acute trauma, fracture of the pelvic girdle, moderate to severe joint instability, as well as caution with patients with suspected infectious etiology of the pelvic pain, severe osteoporosis, or moderate to severe muscle strains. Treating pubis symphysis somatic dysfunction is just one aspect of treatment of the pelvic girdle. Osteopathic manipulative diagnosis and treatment may be beneficial in the setting of chronic pelvic pain syndrome as it may assist in the restoration of pelvic floor and pelvis home biomechanics, normalization of autonomic tone, alleviate pain generators, and improve circulatory homeostasis.